straight line depreciation example three and we have a washing machine that was purchased for eight hundred and twenty dollars brand new so this is the original uh, purchase price V0 and seven years later in equals seven it had a salvage value of four hundred and twenty eight dollars so salvage was 428 it wants you to calculate the depreciation amount it wants you to calculate capital D if depreciation is constant now this little bit at the end when it says if depreciation is constant that just means it stays the same each time and all the examples we have been doing are all constant depreciation at the very beginning the fridge was constantly depreciating by 140 each time in real life usually they're not constant but it's very difficult to calculate things when they are not. Anyway, let's let's work this out. Um, S equals V zero minus D times N, and our salvage value was four twenty eight. Our original value was eight twenty. We don't know what our depreciation value is, but we know that we multiply it by seven. All right, now this one's a little little tricky to work out. If I want to get rid of 820, I need to subtract it. Okay, now you'll notice that there's a minus there, and a lot of people think that they plus the 820 to get rid of it, but that minus belongs to the D times 7 part, so we can't, it doesn't really belong to the 820. So we minus 820, that will cancel the 820 over here, but it won't cancel the negative, so it becomes negative D times 7 and on this side you're actually going to net get a negative solution 428 minus 820 is negative 392 negative 392 all right now because we've got a negative on both sides you can cancel them out if you get negatives on both sides leaving us with 392 equals d times 7 and to finish off to get rid of the times 7 we're going to divide 7 to cancel the 7 and that means we can find D 392 divide 7 is 56 all right so this washing machine depreciated by $56 each year over a period of seven years